How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you uh, the, the Netflix interface on the Amazon Fire TV. And um, to, to get there, what we're going to do is we're going to go down. So we're on home. On the left side in orange says home. You're going to go to your right. You're going to go down to feature apps and games. Now, Netflix isn't pre-installed. Uh, it just has the icon there. So when you click on it, there's going to be an option that's going to say to download uh, Netflix or it's going to say get Netflix and then you'll actually download it onto your system. So you have to do that first, which is really quick. And when you're done, then you'll be able to get right in. If sack right here where it says open, this is where it's going to have you download. But you're going to click right there, it'll download it. And then when it says open, then you can click, you can open it up. And the first thing you'll actually ask you to do is to log in, email address, and password, which is your login information. And then here's our interface. Now this is uh, the interface that's very similar to the PS3. Um, so on PS3, the option actually go all the way across the screen. So here on the right side, we always have um, like the summaries of each show that you click on. So that's the only thing that's different as well as we have the search option at the top. PS3, uh, don't think it does that either. But the cool thing is you do have access to your different user accounts, your profiles, so you can actually go up and switch to a different profile as well. So if, if you have multiple people that are using the same login, um, you can switch to each one and all your saved content is there. And then we just scroll right through. We find something we want to watch, click on it, and it's nice and quick. It just shoots really fast. That's one of the things I've been really uh, pleased with is just how fast um, the interface is working. I feel like this is quicker than my PS3, to be honest, just from what I've noticed. We also do have, our, I'm going to test out our search button to see if that works in here as well. We hold down on the, uh, the little mic at the top here. Kevin Hart. So, uh, got the first time, and then we just click, hit that center button right there, and then it'll search Kevin Hart. Now, it looks like um, this is not searching within, yep, so that's kind of a, a bummer because I don't think it's searching Netflix per se. That's one more time. Kevin Hart. Yeah, see, I would, you would think it would be searching within the, um, Netflix, but it's not. See, if I click here, it's giving me watch on Prime. So that's kind of a funky thing now. If we actually go up here to the top where it says search and click on there, let's try to hold down that mic now and see if we can do a search. Kevin Hart. And we click on it. Yeah, so unfortunately that search feature does not work within the Netflix app, which is kind of a bummer. I was really looking forward to, to being able to use that. Um, so that kind of sucks but nonetheless the remote is very fast so it does allow you to move quickly through your options you know and and then so if you do want to just do a regular search for a title you will go back to that search box and then you'll type you know the letters as they go and then where it pops up you'll select it like that so anyway this is the netflix uh profile or the netflix uh, interface for amazon fire tv just kind of want to give you guys a first look at it so you can see what you're dealing with um a little bit of a bummer we found out that the search the voice search does not work within the netflix app so it probably doesn't work either in the hulu app so kind of a bummer but not too bad you know it's still nice system quick fast um so you know not a lot of lag time all right thanks for watching guys make sure you like favorite and share the video if you did find it helpful subscribe to h tech videos and like us on facebook facebook.com slash h2 tech videos and have a good one